Hi there. Do you work a lot with streaming your time series events from your Kafka clusters? And you really love using Amazon Timestream for live analytics where you can ingest more than tens of gigabytes of time series data per minute and run SQL queries on terabytes of time series data per second. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you the ways in which you can stream your time series data from your Kafka clusters to Amazon Timestream tables where you want to further analyze. My name is Kailvri Kandasamy. I'm a Principal Solutions Architect at AWS and let's dive in. Before we get into the demo, let me show you an end-to-end -end data journey that includes starting from ingesting time series data to storing them onto timestream tables where it gets further analyzed for consumption by people or by other downstream applications or devices. The data flow starts with a number of streaming sources that includes data sources like sensors, social media, IoT devices, log files generated from your web or mobile applications that gets ingested through various AWS services like Amazon MSK, Kinesis and more. Now that the data is ingested, how do you get your data to the targeted storage that is Amazon Timestream tables? There comes the integration layer and there are multiple options available. You can leverage built-in integrations with AWS IoT Core for IoT sensor data or you may author your Lambda functions that opens up multiple integrations possible or you can leverage the built-in connectors like Timestream's Kafka Sync Connector or Flink Connector and more. Now that we got the data streamed to Timestream, the next step is to analyze and consume the data in the format that your data consumers need. There are many ways and it depends on your use cases. You can visualize the data using Amazon QuickSight and build dashboards or you may want to export to S3 in their original form and do further analysis. Using these options, you can stream your time series data in and around time stream tables. And let us zoom in on streaming data from your Kafka clusters to time stream for live analytics using Kafka Connect framework. So when the time stream sync connector is deployed in MSK Connect, it loads the target table schema definitions from an S3 bucket. The connector uses this definition to validate the incoming messages from the Kafka topic before inserting them as records to the table. It is of the same format that we support in Timestream Bachelor feature and this is how it looks like. The schema definition for mapping Kafka messages to a record in Timestream table, right? At a high level, each record contains an array of dimensions and measures in addition to the timestamp of when it was collected and the timestamp unit, which represents the uh, granularity of the timestamp. Dimensions represent the metadata attributes of a time, stream, time series data point, such as user ID or product code. And measure represents the actual value being measured, such as quantity of the purchased item, IP address of the user, and more. And the connector is configured to pull from a MSK topic and write to a time stream table. So uh, this is how it goes. The data flow starts with an EC2 instance, a Kafka producer instance that writes records to a Kafka topic. As data arrives, the connector writes the data to the time stream table. If you would like to follow along as I demonstrate, check out the article shared here. With that, I'll show you how you can use the connector. In when you navigate to the AWS block real-time serverless data ingestion, you will find a cloud formation template that you can use to provision the resources using cloud formation console. And it has all the step-by-step -step instructions, starting from setting up the producer instance to publishing the messages using a JMeter script that we have provided as part of this blog. 
We are in the AWS console. Let's go to the Amazon Timestream console. And the region here is Ohio, US East 2. And under management tools, you find query editor. And we have two tables in Kafka stream database. So the first one is the click stream table. Let's validate if it has any messages. Both are empty tables. So you'll find zero records in there. And similar is the case with purchase history. Count star from Kafka stream dot purchase history. Yes. Now let me take you to the MSK. Let's click on this MSK console. We have a cluster up and running. When you click on that, you have the client information. Under client information, you find the bootstrap server URLs and the port it is listening to. And under MSK Connect, you have worker configuration, the custom worker configuration where we specify the converters, key and value converters. And we have custom plugins. So the custom plugin references to the jar file that is in S3 bucket. And we have connectors here. Purchase history connector is already up and running. And let's check the uh, messages, right? So we have two topics, clickstream and purchase history, and they do not have any messages at this moment. Now we'll create a connector. Let's use the custom plugin. Click on next. Let's provide a name. Connector. Clickstream. The description is optional. So we have option here. We can choose MSK cluster or a self-managed Apache Kafka cluster. We have this MSK cluster that's going to be selected now. And the connector configuration. I have the configuration here. Let me copy and paste it here. So we have the connector class specified, the target database, Kafka stream, the region the plugins bucket, the source topic, ingestion URL, and the target table name. Let's keep the rest uh, capacity and all default and select the recommended Kafka Connect version. And let's use the custom worker configuration, the one that we have created, and the access permission that has access to both read from the topic and write to the time stream table. The security, we keep it default and we deliver to the CloudWatch logs in case we want to troubleshoot. Click on next. Let's review the information once. Connector configuration, access control the logs. Yes, create the connector. The connector creation takes some time. So meanwhile, what we do, we will use the connector that I have already provisioned, which is the purchase history connector. So if you see the informations are uh, you know similar, except the source topic and the target table name, that is purchase history here. The rest of the details are similar. Now let's go to the uh, producer instance, which is an easy to instance that has all the configurations, including the JMeter script. Let's connect to the instance using session manager. So we are in the session manager console. So do you? Easy to user hyphen high. 
So the script expects two parameters, the bootstrap server and the topic, the source topic. Let's go to this script location and execute it. So the topic here is the purchase history and the bootstrap server information that we received from the client information of the MSK cluster. The script execution takes some time. Meanwhile, we will check if the messages are flowing in. The purchase history topic has uh, five messages so far published. And we also check in the time stream table how many records are coming up in the purchase history table. So earlier it was zero. Now if you see, yes, 179 records have been ingested to time stream table. We'll give some time. It's tidying up. We see 3702 messages published. We'll check the Kafka topic. It is 3702. And all the records are valid. So we should be able to see them in the purchase history table as well. Yes, we see the all the records are uh, ingested. Now we will look at the message structure, right? The count is validated. If you look at the message structure, you see channel, IP address, session ID, user group, and we'll validate if this information is present in our purchase history table as well. Next star, and let's limit the response here. Okay, so here you see product, user ID, time, user group, product ID. Okay, all the information that we have seen in the Kafka messages. This marks the end of the demonstration. I have shown you how you can stream your time series events from your Kafka clusters to Amazon time stream tables using the time stream sync connector that we have open sourced. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and have fun experimenting the solution provided. Bye.